Hello, Mom, because you're the only one watching this. Today, we will be discussing nematode or roundworm, which I have already stated are, oh, we're going to be following along the official PowerPoint. So learn something with me today, Mom. <laughs> today is very short. We are discussing the life cycle. A nematode starts its long little life out as an egg, which may come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Then it develops into a larvae, which is located inside of the egg we just discussed. And it, this larvae can emerge from the egg to continue to mature. Finally being developed into an adult worm. Here it may, uh, develop different sexes or be a hermaphrodism, but it is important to note that the female is generally larger than the male, and it is equipped with a digestive and reproductive system. You need those to make life and to have life. <laughs> Very simple. There is only two life cycles nematodes have. If it is an indirect life cycle, it will have an intermediate host. This is probably this is parasite because it has a host. So indirect intermediate host. If no intermediate host, then it is a direct life cycle. Indirect, direct. Uh, yeah. So Bishop finally finds it important to include this fact: a paratentic host. What is a paratentic host? Well. A nematode isn't always able to choose its host, or sometimes it, you know, yeah, just the world works that way, man. So paratentic simply means alternative. So they, some nematodes can exist in different hosts. So that's good to know. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Bye.